Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm going to be going over the paper, um, October 2023 S1 Statistics S1. This is from the Edexcel International A Level Board, and I'm going to go through each question one by one and save them um, in separate videos, such that uh, you will have a playlist available which will include all the questions from this paper and other playlists available which include all the questions which are from the same topic as a particular question I'll be answering. So um, again, I'm going to not just read out the mark scheme, I'm going to actually go through the questions in some detail in some cases, keeping in my mind the type of questions that my students ask me in order to address their doubts and you know to try and help students who maybe didn't have a chance to uh, pay attention fully during the course whether it was you know whoever was teaching them okay so now question number one it says sally plays a game in which she can either win or lose there's nothing else in between either she wins the game or she loses the game a turn consists of up to three games on each turn sally plays a game up to three times if she wins the first two games or loses the first two games then she will not play the third game all right so she has to win the first two games and then she's you know what got through whatever or she's won the whole thing if she loses the first two games then the third game she's she, she can't play the probability that sally wins the first game in a turn is 0 0.7 if sally wins a the game then the probability that she wins the next game is 0 0.6 however if sally loses a game the probability that she wins the next game is 0 0.2 use this information to complete the diagram on page three well i've just put the diagram below to make life easier so first of all we, the ones that are already given that's 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.3 0 0.6 0 0.4 now the question says if she wins a game um the probability that she wins the next game is 0 0.6 so that's where that comes from okay if she loses a game the probability that she wins the next game is 0 0.2 so if she loses a game which is this probability here this 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 uh, scenario here the probability that she wins the next game is going to be 0 0.2. So this is going to be 0 0.2, which means that's going to be 0 0.8, add, add up to 1. Okay, so if she wins two games, she stops, so that stops there. Now, if she wins and then she loses, now remember, if she loses a game, the probability that she wins the next game is 0 0.2, so that's going to be 0 0.2 here, and then therefore 0 0.8. Um, if she loses the first game and then wins the second game, now if she wins a game, the probability that she wins the next game is going to be 0 0.6. So here you have 0 0.6 and here you have 0 0.4. And you can see if she loses two games, she can't play the third. So she stops after two losses like this. Okay, so here we have the the um, probability tree. Okay, what I'm going to write down now is the different outcomes that we have. Okay, we have the outcome that she wins the first two games. The, wins the first two games, meaning there's only going to be two the last game she doesn't play so win win blank second is win lose win win lose and then win and win lose and then lose so that's the third this is what this branch represents then you got lose lose sorry lose win and win lose win and win and you got lose win and lose lose win and then lose and then you got lose and lose you can lose and then lose and then you don't play the third game so these are all the outcomes these are the different outcomes that you can get in the this situation so the question says find the probability that sally wins the first two games in a turn all right so she wins the first two games well there's only one option for that which is this one here which is going to be win and then win all right so for that option you can see if you want to find the outcome you multiply along the branches so you multiply along the branch when you want to find an outcome so the probability of a win and then another win is going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.6 so 0 0.7 times 0 0.6 which is going to be 7 times 6 is 42 you've got two decimal places so 0 0.42 there's the answer for part b very very simple okay no problems there then part C says, find the probability that Sally wins exactly two games in a turn. Okay, so exactly two games in a turn. Get rid of that. Exactly two games in a turn. 
all right so that means there should be two widths which includes the first and includes the second here and includes this third the fourth one these are the ones which have um, two widths everything else has less than two widths okay so find the probability she wins exactly two games so we got to combine those different probabilities together so we've got to have the probability of win and win. Let me make some space here. Okay, so we have the probability of win and then win. Okay, plus the probability of, you're going to have a win, win, lose, win, plus the probability of lose, win, win. Lose, win, win. All right, we know this is already 0 0.42, same as that, plus win, lose, win. Okay, so win, lose, win. So that's going to be win, lose, and win. Okay, that's going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2. This is... 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 plus then we got lose and then win and then win which is represented by this branch here lose and then win and then win which is 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 so 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 okay so those are all the different possibilities which will give us what we're looking for so you have i'll just stick this on my calculator so we will have here put it over here so i can see everything you have your 0 0.42 plus 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 times uh, 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 okay so that will give us a total probability which is 64 64 over 125 which as a decimal will give us 0 0.512 0 0.512 okay so there's your answer to part c Okay, I'm going to do part D and E on the next page just because we're going to run out of space. Um, so part D says, given that Sally wins two games in a turn, find the probability that she won the first two games. Okay, so basically we've got to find the probability given that she's won two games, okay, two games, that she got a win and then a win and then a win and then loss win-win and then nothing right so given that okay means basically that is a sample space our sample space is that she won wins two games in a turn the probability that she wins two games okay in a turn so any two games all right and the numerator is going to be the probability that she wins wins the first two intersection which she wins any two wins two games Okay, so we already found the probability of wins two games. Okay, already found that. And that was the probability of these three combined. So our sample space now is basically this, this, and this combined, which we already found. Okay, probably that she wins two games, okay, um, is going to be 0 0.512. Okay, so this is 0 0.512. This is 0 0.512. Okay, this is our sample space. This is the denominator. Okay, that's going to be 0 0.512. Now, the numerator is going to be the intersection between these and the first answer. Okay, it's going to be the intersection between these and the first answers. So it's going to be the probability, the intersection between them is going to be basically just this. Okay, it's going to be just this, which is 0 0.42. Okay, the intersection between 
this and these three is just this on its own. Okay, so you have 0 0.42 over 0 0.512, and that will give us our answer. Okay, so we have it's going to be 42 over 512 in the end, which simplifies to what? Let's have a look 21 over 256. Okay, so I'll write it as 21 over 256. Okay, which will give us as a decimal to 3SF 0 0.082. 0 0.0820 0 .0 to 3SF. Okay, so there's the probability that she won the first two games, given that she wins two games in a turn. Okay, given that she wins two games. So you've got to find... The intersection between these two, which is basically, it's just this part on its own, divided by the sample space, which is now not all the different outcomes, but just the outcomes which include winning two games. So it's this divided by all of it, uh, those three. Okay. Then it says, given that Sally won the first game in a turn. Okay, so now we're going to change our strategy slightly. We're going to look at, whoops, what happened there? Okay, we're going to look at, let me get rid of this, this is, okay, now we're going to look at the probability that she wins, that um, given that she wins the first game in a turn. So now our sample space for that is just going to be this on its own. It's going to be these on its own. These are the ones where she wins the first game in a turn. Okay, right, that, that's now going to be the sample space, this section over here. Right, which is going to be basically, um, given that she, w I'm sorry, she won the first game. My bad, one second. Not losers, she won the first game. I don't know why I said that. She won the first game is going to be these, of course. Right, which, you know, the, the first game that's going to be basically is this, which is 0 0.7. Okay, so now we can say the probability that she wins the first game she wins the first game is going to be 0 0.7. And that's our sample space. Okay, so we're, we're going to find the probability um, that she won two games. She wins two games. Okay, given that she won the first. Okay, so you're going to have the intersection between these two first. All right, and the sample space is going to be 0 0.7. Okay, so let me just write that out fully. So it's the probability that she wins two games. Intersection with the probability that she wins the first game. Divided by the probability that she wins the first game. Okay, that's what this conditional probability is. So what is what says given that becomes the sample space. And the intersection between that and what we have to find becomes a numerator. Okay, so this is going to be basically um, that she wins two games, but only from this. Okay, only from these outcomes here. Okay, so the problem that she wins two games is going to be these two. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.6 plus, so I'll write it out, 0 0.7 times 0 0.6, which you already know. Plus, and then you're going to have um, this as well, which is 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2. 0 0.7 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.2, divided by the whole sample space, which is just 0 0.7. Okay, so we could, in fact, even cancel out those 0 0.7. Okay, they will cancel out because they're common in each term. And you'll end up with 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.2. So you have 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 um, times 0 0.2, which gives you 17 over 25, which is 0 0.68. 0 0.68. So there's the answer to that question. And here's the answer to that question, 3SF. And that completes this question, number one from this paper of October 2023 from Statistics S1 at Excel International A-Level. Other questions from the paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this area over here in the screen. 
the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of probability will appear in the playlist that you'll find linked at the end of the screen at the end of the video over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and watch a video which is linked here telling you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.